Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Hello. It is time for your mid-August to September read of this current year. How are my Scorpios doing? Hopefully lovely. Hello, lovely, lovely, lovely. Ah! Almost dropped everything. I got a few, like, pre-shuffles for you, I guess. Ooh, you got five. Mmm. Let's see. Someone made a wish and there was baggage that came with it to the types where someone broke up in a third party, leaving the house a little bit on shell. They're waiting for a fucking message from somebody who is a bit of a douchebag when it comes to actually understanding that sharing is caring. So that's the attitude today, huh? Okay. Anyway, Scorpios, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game. Right? Right. If you want a personal reading after this, my email, Instagram, and Facebook are in the description box below. First reading's on the house, free of charge. Everything else afterwards comes with a price. And I do take tips and donations. Y'all got the double reversed. <laughs> what you sneaking to? Huh? Sneaking because the situation has left you completely emotionally empty. You want some wi What the hell? Are you trying to torture somebody again? Seems like you guys are in that mood. Two of Wands is the situation. Is the obstacle and challenge coming against you? Ten of Swords is the want and wish. I'm not sure what that's about, Scorps. Oh, there you are. You might be afraid of offering your cup up, but you're rejecting doing that shit. And here you're just tentatively giving your cup out, like, hey, here's enough love to have you make a fucking decision. Yeah, ho. You know? Seven of Wands reverse. Someone feels like they need to get out of a forest and they don't know if they're even taking the right directions to do so. Everything is on fire. Horrible. Right? Right. Let's see. I feel like somebody, um... It's trying to get away. Either it's a Capricorn or it's someone you're dealing with, Scorpio, or you. Cross watchers, switch everything around accordingly, of course. But it's like someone's trying to sneak away, and this is based on the decision that comes with a lot of obstacles behind it, right? And amongst those is rejecting or fearing offering your cup in a more full manner. But still offering that cup on a very minimal scale because, you know, you're not emotionally fulfilled. It's emptying you, and you feel fucking betrayed, and I feel like you want to pay someone back because you hate owing somebody, you know? That'd be a tragedy. Uh, yeah, you're sneaking off to a new beginning, by the way. <laughs> Trying to look for the sun. Praise the sun. Praise the sun. Oh, because there is a mistress somewhere. What? Could be Pisces, could be a Cancer, but it's like, you want to start something with a mistress? That's my mistress card. Should name her Haley Jo Osmond, but that'd be a crying shame. But yeah, mistress chick right here. Someone is not emotionally fulfilled in the situation. So they decided to break it off. Or this is the beginnings of them breaking off the relationship. And trying to regain control back of whatever it is they have control over. I'm not sure of that. Anyway, Ten of Swords right here. Ooh. That's a book for y'all. Um, someone feels betrayed, but they are not listening to their intuition or a high priestess about how to manifest what they need to. They went out the box. They're done with it, right? 
Um, they feel like every challenge they go against is nothing but an endless battle. There's no victories in it. They feel compact when they try to leave. They come around looking for love. Which is why they only give the minimal because they really can't tell because someone's made a stone. They want the relationship, but at this time it feels like they're being held hostage and they really actually want to be let go. And now the blood's rushing to their head and they're probably dying, but you know, it's whatever. They want out of the commitment because it brings them insecurities, right? It's like you're trying to have an escape plan, you just haven't gone as far as to figure out the escape yet. But I feel like you're still trying to flail around like you don't know where the door is and it's daylight a little bit. But like, someone's just ignoring their intuition on how they can make this happen. Now the decision is the obstacle and challenge right here. Because they idolize their person. They love their person. Seven of Cups, once again, they feel like they're fulfilling. This is a, and they turn their back to shit, but that's like, not, not, not logical. Illogical actions, actually. Don't idolize this person if you're trying to get away from them. But it's also like this person wants to start something with their mistress. They like this other person better. Knight of Cups right here. Water signs galore. Fear of giving your cup away or whatever just to try to get out of a bad situation you don't see an exit out of. <clears throat> You'd be investing in a business of sorts or building your coin up and that's actually something that you would create. There's a position again. Like, brah, like, I don't know what it is you're afraid of, but it's like it would benefit you because it's like your fate that you created. Like someone's afraid to create this scenario. And that's why they're not listening to the High Priestess, but it's like, it'd be beneficial. We got the Page of Cups down below as the catalyst as well as the final result. How the shit will start and how it comes full circle. Page of Cups, way more immature when giving away emotions. Being very tentative. Double energy. Double whammy. Like, being, trying to be expressive. Trying to be gestural of open love. That fish is in the air is showing vibration right but it's a wait for nothing that's going to be fruitful or maybe you're deciding to be a little bit extra friendlier when ending this stuff because you know that there's like growth potential there but it's like I'm not waiting for this or maybe you feel like you know you need to like start somewhere different what's the ending thing please might be trying to get away from a fire sign who is just losing their shit on being in control or rolling things the way they want to. Leo Sag Aries right there. Let's see. Shitty offer! Shitty offer is available in this scenario. Because there's a call for balance before steps are taken while someone is being on guard right here. The person with red in their pocket has, has themselves on guard and their offer is not being taken, right? So this kind of causes someone not to offer their cup up. Actually, keep their cups to themselves. There's water all over you. You are on, in your element, Scorpio, for sure. And because you're in your feelings, I feel like you aren't capable of really coming to some sort of decision. So you just walk away, even though you love the shit, right? You love it to death. Because nothing was going to start in this whatsoever. Nothing was getting handed to be started. And whatever it was that was trying to be manipulated did not come out in the favor you thought it would. It's like... Not listening to your inner tuition caused a backfire. But you get to go out and celebrate with friends after you fuck everything up. So I guess that's not too bad. And it ends all the quarrels. So there is a happy lining in that. Like It's, it's like learning the lesson a harder way instead of the easier way, I suppose. Instead of actually digging in and realizing like maybe this is the answer you kind of take the other way and go like you know what I'm, I'm just gonna see how far i can let this bridge burn 
Like you're on the right path. You just don't see it. And that's what's causing a bit of issue at this point. You know? But that's your reading, Scorpio. If you enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do, please and thank you. Um, no pressure, of course, but I would greatly appreciate it. I love your guys' faces, and I will talk to you soon, okay? Bye-bye. Well,